to my video. Today I'm going to do a review on the silver cross that I have here. with the bassinet. It also comes with two boot covers that's actually one boot cover which is really cool. It zips together which I absolutely love instead of having two separate boot covers. It's just one. It also comes with a rain cover. I'll show you all about the pram with the seat on and then I'll show you with the bassinet on. I really hope this films correctly. I've done this review twice now and it hasn't filmed properly. And on top of that, today we're doing new lighting. So I'm really hoping that this works, but oh, what can I do? <laughs> so this is the Pioneer. I do have some great things to say about it, but I do have a few negative things. Like always, everything has a positive and negative to it. We'll just start at the top. So starting at the top, we have the handlebar. It has a telescopic, a telescopic. I think it's telescopic handlebar. So you squeeze in with one hand and lift it up to wherever you want. So you have all those positions to choose from. nice and high and really low and in the middle if you're like me. <laughs> so that's really easy, I like that. It comes with a safety strap which is actually, it has silver cross embedded in it which is really cute, it's just a nice design. In Australia these are Australian standards to sell a pram, hence why they have them. They're a safety strap so that when you push the pram, if you let go, your pram doesn't roll away. The hood is awesome. I really do like the hood. I have one con about the hood. It's not the easiest thing to wash. If you do want to wash this pram, I do have a video on how to wash a silver cross pram. This pram, exactly. Um, it involved taking everything off and scrubbing in the bath, but it's washed. <laughs> so the hood is decently big. It also has this hidden pocket in here that I do like. And it can kind of bend. So even when the seat is laying down, there's that extra sun protection that I love. If you wanted to get rid of that, you just pop it away. Same with this black piece here. You can push it away if you didn't want to see it or pull it back out again. At the top, we have a kickaboo window in the hood that is magnetized and in here it is plastic. So you can see what Bub's doing. Pop that down. And at the very top here, we have a little strip here with mesh so you can let the airflow come through. I'll just lay that down so you can see. Really like that feature. I think that's a really nice touch. So all of these features you get on the bassinet as well because the hood transfers from here, the seat, to the bassinet. To lay the frame up and down like I've been doing this whole time is just a lever at the back so you push pull it with one hand and choose your seating position. So there are three. Really nice and easy. I love frames that have one hand adjustments like that. Coming down to the seat, 
I actually changed the seatbelt harnesses around and they're not the easiest thing to do. In the back here, what you have to do is pull it through this way and then place it in wherever you want. So if I got it, I'd probably just put it in the middle and leave it in the middle. <laughs> this seat is recommended from six months and up, hence why you get the bassinet with the silver cross as well. The harness I love, it is a unique kind of harness. It's their own design, I've never seen anything like it before. And it has just a loop here which you slide onto the harness and um, clip it in. And you just clip it in like this. So I really like that. So when you take it apart, it doesn't always come apart, but it can very easily just slip, slide apart if that's what you wanted. The seat is just a plain black seat. I think these are like a toy clip or something in here. It's just a small plastic loop. I assume you could add a toy to so they can't throw it out. And I believe there's one on either side. This is a pram liner that I've just made to I guess spruce up the pram a little bit, mainly because this belly bar did have a chunk out of it. So the belly bar and the handlebars match with this beautiful leather look material. And on the front, I really love that it has silver cross, I don't know, stamped? Tell me what the word is. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah, stamped into it. And it says silver cross, but someone may or may not have eaten it. so. <laughs> Um, that's why we have this cover over the top of it, so we don't look at that. Down here it has an adjustable footrest, which is really cool. And then there's this little piece here so that an older child could put their feet there if they wanted to. And it does come up as well. It has a few settings. But it doesn't come up the other way, so it only goes down or straight. Uh, the belly bar is removable with a button on either side. It can be removed like this, where you can be completely removable with the other button on this side. I love pivotable belly bars. They are my favourite things in the world. I hate belly bars that just come straight up, because there's nothing worse than a belly bar that comes up like this. Then what do you do with it? Like, <laughs> I love that it folds and it gets out of the way and then you can put the child in. Let's come down and look at the basket. So we have the pram sitting forwards at the moment. It does reverse and I'll show you that in a minute. This basket is huge and very easy to access when the pram is in the forward position and in the rear facing position as well. So I'll show you how you do that. Either side, you have these um, levers, I would call them. So you just put your fingers in either side. I put three fingers in like this and then I lift and with my palm I um, like make a grip and then same on the other side and just turn it around and it's in place. Again the basket is easy to access when both sliding down or sitting up with the seat on. When it's in bassinet mode it can be a little tricky to get the shopping into the basket so just keep that in mind. A cool thing is the hood can actually move up for children that are taller, but I don't know how I feel about the use of it, so I actually take the hood off. And you can see just here there are two slots. So we're going to choose the highest slot, and we're just going to clip the hood on, make sure everything's around the back. And see how much higher that hood is, it's amazing. But, I don't, it doesn't always sit the best in this position. I feel like this back piece here, when you take the hood off and then re-put the hood on, you have to always get this piece and put it back in there. So now I'm gonna take the hood off put it back on and it has unlined again. So maybe a sticky dot or something could 
push the fabric in so that it stays there so it's not a pain every time you take the hood on and off. So that's a design flaw that I don't love. It's nothing major, it's not a, a huge thing, but it bothers me because if I was trying to lay the frame down, I guess it doesn't have to come through. You could either do it underneath or just, yeah, just grab it and do it. It doesn't really matter. Let's fold the pram down. So to fold the pram down, we have levers on either side, these two little rings, and then on the right hand side, we actually have a button at the top. My index fingers on either side, and my thumbs on the right side. I'm gonna pull up, and then it's going to fold down. So that's the fold with the seat on. It's not a huge fold, it's not a tiny fold but you can fold the seat off to make it a more a smaller, more compact fold. And then I like to put the seat on that way and it just sits in there a little better for me. I told you there was a few things that I didn't like about this pram. The fold is one of them. Now it's not the way that the pram folds, it's the fact that no matter what way you fold this pram, your handle gets damaged. I don't know why I tried all the different ways to fold it and it still damages it. So to put the pram up, let me just show you. On this side here, we have a safety. So what we're gonna do is lift the safety up and we're just gonna pull the frame up. Again, it's a lovely fold. It's just that under the handles, it gets marked here and here and over here as well. Now it's not a huge issue and I've come across this once with another brand before but it frustrates me. <laughs> there should be a way that you should be able to fold your pram and it shouldn't damage it at all. So to fold it with the brake on, I'm just going to fold it normally and it hits the bar, the, the, sorry, the handle hits the brake here and that causes that dent. Okay, so if we were to unfold it and fold it with the brake off so we'll do that and now it hits here and it causes a dent up here okay so we'll unfold it and we'll fold it with the handle up one click which is making the pram longer now and that seems to be a better fold but now your fold is longer. So, <laughs> I find that really frustrating because when I fold a pram, I want it to be as short as possible. When you fold the pram with the bassinet on, you'll have to take the bassinet off first and then fold it. Yeah. Down to the brake. The brake, I, it's a love hate relationship. It's such a nice, clean brake, but I just don't like the idea of it. When I took it out, I was very cautious when I was on escalators, thinking of the brake, that I wouldn't be able to press it in time. But it honestly works so easy and so well. So I feel like it's just a fear thing with me. It's a big red brake to stop, which is really good, but then you have this tiny little dot you have to press. But it honestly really presses so well. So I don't know what that fear is. I just worry that it might get stuck or something. And then across the front wheels do the click. They lock into place, so just lock that. And that's all good to go for rough terrain. Unlock when you're ready to swivel again. Again, when I took it out, it didn't have the best steering. Like it feels kind of heavy and stiff. It's not terrible, but compared to other frames, I feel like it could be lighter to steer. I don't know why. Boot cover. This boot cover, I really like it. I don't know why. But it has both pieces zipped together right now and all I do is scoop it under here and it has some magnetic pieces so that goes up and under the belly bar and then you have some little pieces in here which you can clip on. So that's really cool. It's a nice secure fit. Let's take the pram seat off and put the bassinet on. We're going to have to take the foot off and I'll take the boot cover off because we'll want to put that onto the bassinet as well. I forgot to take the hood off so we're just going to clip that off as well. 
probably not the easiest to do it for mid air, but when you know. Here are the places for the hood. So we're going to clip the hood on. Make sure that all of the fabric is around so it's easier. The outside of the fastener. And there's our fastener. If you want to add the belly bar, it's up to you. I like to add it. So the belly bar is removed from the cram seat with the two buttons and attached to the bassinet. Again, if you want to remove it, there's the same buttons. The hood is exactly the same hood as we used on the seat, so it has all the same features. It has the mesh across the back to allow the breeze and the ventilation to come through. And it has this little piece here. If you wanted to pop that in or out, it goes up and down. The bassinet is just completely flat and it has the most gorgeous fabric inside it. I think it's like a memory foam. It's so nice and soft and comfortable and I absolutely just love it and it just makes me want to go to sleep in it or just to put a beautiful little baby in here and just feel good about it. <laughs> I've never found a bassinet that I've thought was so luxurious and I just think this is honestly the most luxurious bassinet fabric or bassinet that I've ever found. So that's that. Absolutely love it. It looks so nice and cute as a little bassinet as well and it all ties in together. So now we're going to put the boot cover on. So this just unfolds and there's a zipper and we undo the zipper all the way to the end and we take the top part off and we want to use the top part and get rid of this bottom part. So this is the same top part that we used last time and we're going to turn it over so it's got the nice side and just like fold this back down again. And we'll touch it exactly the same way so it goes over the belly back and it clips on inside as well. And I think that's really cute as well. Especially when it's all cold, it really cozies. So there's my review on this pram. I do like it, it is a fancy pram. I just really hate that the fold is a pain and it leaves those dents. Other than that, I love the chrome assets that it has. I think that's just a really cool touch that not many other prams were doing until recently. I love all the fabric. I feel like they've gone like extra bit to give you the the fabric design, I just feel like it's a little bit extra, just the way that it's stitched and stuff. I think that's it, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure that you like this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.